So hello, welcome back with me, Red Gaming, joining me back on the farm. So as you've seen, uh, don't want to kill anything. As you've seen, we are just doing the harvest now uh, of the corn, and then we should be able to carry on and start doing the rest of, uh, well, start carrying on and planting the next, uh, next crop. Now we've got the new uh, the cedar as well. We should be able to do the seeding as well, which is great. Uh, we we'll just jump out and go to. Well, we should be actually just. There we go. So this field looks like it's going to actually yield us quite a lot overall. I'm just going to uh, scoot down the end here and go park somewhere over here. And then I'm going to jump on a challenger. The MT84 5 so I'm going to just go to the end of this field like so, like about there, and then we're going to go hire worker, see what happens. Apparently they're done. No, no you're not. Go. I want to see what happens. We do need to obviously do this, so I was sort of tempted to do, um, to expand this field as well, but I think this field's okay. Um, overall this field, I think, personally, is okay. So yeah, we're not getting a full width of it yet, but we should be able to soon. Once, because uh, like I say, we are probably a couple of meters over there. Once we're at the other end, we should be able to turn around and start doing a much better job. So we're going to do plowing of all of the fields now, get them completely plowed, uh, and yeah, we should be good. But we should be starting to make quite a lot of money from this corn. How much is it corn selling for right now? That's a good question to ask. Uh, corn corn is in thousands, 1,200, so it's not great, but it should be okay. Uh, okay, own silo, we, that's ours, so we can store, obviously, so we might just store some of this. Um, but yeah, the next crop is going to be oats, which is this one, and wheat which is this one, which both produce straw as well. But mainly we're going to do that because obviously we need them for the chickens and the horses. So as you can see, the grass, not a problem. Got plenty of grass. Uh, chickens, quite low. Now that's us in one coop and then the other coop's even lower. So yeah, we need to get them up. See, their only production is uh, is only 18% right now. And theirs is only... Uh, hello? Yeah, it's all 18% because it's pretty bad in terms of uh, in terms of that. So the, the sheep, though, however, they're off 94%, so they're producing a relatively good amount of wool. Um, we need to get that up a little bit higher so that they're all in the green. It's mainly water. We need to get more water, which we can do now, actually, whilst, uh, whilst the, the crop and everything's going. And horses, again, we just need to get them oats, and we should be good. So, right... Uh, water time. So let's grab you. Let's, uh, let's drop off this weight. Probably next to the. Uh, let's drop the weight off here. There we go. Drop that there. Uh, where is the water bowser? That's a good question. Ah, we need to pick all them up as well. The wall seems to have filled up, so. We need to pick them up. However, I do want to use something new. Uh, is it this thing? Nope. I think we need a new water bowser as well. Oh my god. Because this one's very small. Uh, it's good, but it's just small. Right, let's go take this to the little river, or the little lake thing. Oh, there we go. Let's hook on there. Wrong way. And uh, off we go. It's not too far, so we can... Uh, pretty easy to do. So much nicer going down there now. So much smoother than it was before. But yeah, we should be able to just uh, fill it up for free, which is good. From this little... Uh, this little lake over here. Or pond, or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, should be good. And then we could uh, maybe do a few trips to just make sure that the uh, 
And there we go. Refill. Do you not drive too deep into water? I'm not, don't worry. I am on the surface. Don't you worry about a game. Do, 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 do. There we go. Yeah, we should be able to just pull it up here, that shouldn't be an issue. This track is actually more like, I mean, I know it's not very powerful in terms of like complete horsepower, but it's still relatively quick um, or powerful. Still pretty good. It looks like the, uh, the Challenger is having a little bit of challenge. <laughs> Doesn't look like he's going all the way to the end. The work is not going all the way to the end, um, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. So I'll have to, uh, I'll have to do that on do the end myself. It seems. We also need to do a big grass harvest at some point, which I'm potentially going to do in the next. God sakes! Stop getting caught on stuff, you piece of shit. Okay, there we go. All right, let's unload that. They should probably take all of it, I would imagine. But yeah, yeah, I imagine they're going to take all of it. They do need quite a lot of water, which is kind of mental. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, they did take. But we're up a little bit. They're up in the green now, which is good. Um. One of the horses, the horses have plenty of water, which is kind of crazy. Okay, right, let's head over. Yeah, he's not going all the way to the end, which is kind of frustrating. So, jump into the, the truck. We'll jump into the man, uh, the Challenger as well in a second once we've off offloaded this guy. We'll jump into the Challenger and we will uh, try and persuade him to uh, go to the end. So let's just offload this person, this, uh, this worker first. Do, 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 do. I'm going to go that way, that's kind of strange. Yeah, you're only going there. Why are you only going to there? That's so crazy. Let's go here. Beacons on, please, because we are working. Okay. Just in case of keeping this up now, so we should get about 16,000. Uh, we should be on about 17,200 litres now. So yeah, that challenge is not really having a problem pulling that uh, wow, however, but it's not going to the end, which is kind of annoying, so we'll have to... Uh, should be about 17,000 altogether. Oh, well, probably a bit more. 18,000. That's fair, yeah. There we go. Right, you... You're starting to miss stuff as well, which is kind of annoying. Right, so you, let's... Take over, draw. Okie dokie. Right, let's just... Uh... Ah, that's... That's why. That's not very good. Huh. I don't know how I'm going to get around that one then. Um, I've not had an issue with that before. We should be good in any way, so if we just lower that there, maybe we can go that way. Right, it looks like we can go this way when we're ploughing. Okay, that's not a problem then. So, we can do that them bits that way. Uh, it's kind of annoying though. Yeah, 
that's kind of bloody in there. Right, let's just do this little bit that it's messed all the way down and then we can go to the other end and see what the hell the problem is. But it seems to me that the plow, because of the wheels, doesn't get everywhere that I need it to get, which is kind of frustrating. Which means we might have bought it for no reason. Um, might be able to just get another one. I don't know. I'm not sure. It might be the same issue down the centre of the field, that's probably why. We'll find out though now, can't we? I don't know whether it's actually this, this, or it's the, uh, we're looking okay though. I think it might just be the worker this time. Yeah, I think it was just the worker on that go. This is the weirdest fucking thing ever though. So now it's gonna wrap itself around a tree, probably. I'm just gonna do the bits that it missed for now. Uh, and then we can do a little bit ourselves. There we go. I'll cover most of this, so we are doing okay. It's just annoying, to be honest. So we'll have to go that way then. Yeah, this is kind of just annoying. Oh, it's just missed them bits at the end. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why it's missed them either. It kind of makes sense the other end because it's not actually in the ground, so I can sort of forgive that 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 end a little bit. I don't want to forgive it, but I sort of can. Um, but yeah, this end I'm not entirely sure what it's doing. I don't even think it knows what it's doing. So yeah, kind of frustrating. Okay, do the last little bit around here. I'll have to go all the way up to the other end with this little strip now. Just missed all of this strip, which is, again, really frustrating. It looks like this is not a very good uh, plough though, so... Not a, not a very ideal plow, should I say. I don't know. We'll keep it for now if we're only just plowing these fields. It might just be just due to the terrain. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. But it might be just due to the terrain. So we'll just uh, wait. We'll just see. Yeah, it's missed all them bits, which I need to do. Ugh. The very annoying. But once it's ploughed, uh, as long as we don't use the cedar uh, for anything that we don't need to use it for, we should be good. But let's clean all this bill. This, but uh, that should be that so should be well enough. And then let's scoot around here. Let's clear this bit up. Eighty percent full, which is great. You 
go up there, please. Go. Whilst I just jump to you. Uh, where are you? You are coming this way now as well, which is good. Let's turn the bird, should be about right, about here ish. Once he catches up. There we go. Yeah, we are good. So yeah, it looks like we definitely will get a full trailer out of all these fields. Which is good. That's what we want. So let him do that. Let's see what this person does. Oh. Oh. Stop. Drop. Go all the way to the end, you idiot. Uh, that tree. This is why we're gonna get rid of some of these trees as well. So it makes life a little bit easier. Definitely makes life a little easier. Uh, let's spin around there, see what we're we actually doing. Should be well enough. There we go. Yeah, definitely enough. It's not a very yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this plow, if I'm honest. It's 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 pretty good in terms of the width, but yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. Seems to be pretty much a pain in the arse. Pretty big pain in the Go. Move you out the way. See here, he just keeps going. Hopefully, he does. Should be ideal. Yeah. Are you gonna go to the, to the end? Hopefully. Looks like you are. Which is good. Yeah, he did. Good. Makes a change. Now well, let's see what you're gonna do now. I don't know how they reverse it so perfectly straight. Kinda of crazy. Uh, it's, uh, it's broke. That's what he's doing. Blocked by an object. Yeah, you're not blocked by anything. Actually, you're just blocked by yourself. Uh, being a bit an absolute tarred fish. Okay, let's uh, run that along there. That should be good to go. There we go. So yeah, it looks like we're going to get quite a bit far yield from all of this. We just need a bigger combine harvester next, um, just to get through them even faster. But yeah, not too bad overall. Um, we're going to finish the episode obviously in the next uh, in the next did it here ten minutes or so. And then from there, I'm going to carry on anyway. Uh, and we're going to crack on with the field. Don't forget, I am doing this live. So if you want to come and check it out, then head over to Twitch, um, which you'll find me, Red Gaming 33. Uh, the link is in the description down below in all my videos. So you just need to check it out. A challenger doing the same thing again. Yep. Stop. Go. I'm going to just do it. I'm just going to do it because it's actually doing my head in, so I'm just going to plough myself. Um, <laughs> I didn't think I would say that, but I'm going to. Right, let's uh, grab that in there. It should be enough to, uh, to do all that. But yeah. I'm just going to plow myself because it seems to be a hell of a lot easier than getting fucking working to it. Um, so yeah. But well, we are doing it quite quickly though, which is nice. I'll tell you what we could do though, we could start fertilising, uh, cultivating straight away. Or, what I'm thinking is, um, the other tractor can pull this plow, technically. Um, which means we might be able to get a bigger fair cultivator. 
due to the fact of this tractor, we have we have this tractor now. Um, so that could be a factor. Could go for a bigger cultivator. I don't know how much they would be. Um, I imagine it would be relatively expensive. So let's uh, move that. I'm just going to go and do these little bits uh, again. Just I don't want to come back and do it all over again. You see, so let's just do these bits whilst whilst we can before we move on. Okay, let's spin around this way if we can. Should be able to. Yeah, no problem. And we'll do this bit here. And then them little bits there as well. Bam. Might do that bit there. Go over to these bits. And again, do these little bits here as well. Luckily, we haven't got it on there. Uh, make a field because Jesus Christ we would have been so terribly bad um, <laughs> terribly bad okay we got one egg there as well which I didn't realise oh we need to go over a bit because that's way too far over into this but oh no don't miss anything there we go Okay, wages is six sixty, which is not that bad. Uh, I'm okay with that. That's just for the harvester. This is why we need a bigger one. If we get a bigger harvester, it technically you're paying less wages because it gets through the field a lot faster. Um, again, due to the fact that the harvest is bigger. Um, so that is a factor. But yeah, I'm just going to do uh, all the. Uh, Looks like I'm going to do all the plowing myself, which is, again, not a problem. I can get the cultivator on it, on a worker, which it, hope, it doesn't mess up normally with a cultivator, so we should be good. I'm just going to go in a little bit here, just to make sure I get that bit. There we go. And then, go all the way through. Oh, God. Raise there. Let's scoot round this bit. This one wouldn't be as bad if it, uh, you could like detach it or something from the back. It wouldn't be as bad. Okay, that's that bit. Let's do this little tiny bit here. Grain tank is already 80% full, which is great news for us, because it seems to be filling up pretty damn quickly. Oh, for God's sakes. Why do we always miss a little bit? Come on. That bit there, please. Come on. Thank you. Jesus Christ. And then again. That bit. Should be good, and then we can just scoot round this way, like so, and hopefully put it on a worker just quickly. Uh, should be good about here. Put it on a worker, and then oh, before you go off, get the auger out, and then uh, go and load. It's pretty close. So yeah, unload the corn into here. And then we will uh it should be good. Like I say we can sell this the biogas plant once we have enough money to buy the biogas facility. It also has its own silo pit as well where we can obviously start doing silage. Um, I 
think you can turn corn into silage. I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, not a hundred percent, but I'm pretty sure you can turn it into silage. So let's get cracking on here. Uh, and back it onto America straight away. Challenger, yeah, you're gonna get off work because you keep fucking off. Um, it's doing my editing because it's just—it's it, actually just making more work for me. Um, the more I get a worker, the more work it's actually making for me. Because it means I've got to go over all of the bits that they miss, which is freaking annoying. Not gonna lie, it's freaking freaking annoying. So, yeah, we should be uh, head down there and do this. Do, 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 do. Yeah, missed all of this down the bottom as well. Just, uh, This plow doesn't look right. Hmm. Yeah, this this is this plow isn't right. What's going on? What's going on? Okay, that's better. It's pulling out now, which is better. We may as well just stay on this line for now and then we can uh, get a better line when we go back up the other way. I did miss a bit though still. I think that's because this one fucked up at the back. I don't know, it spazzed out on me. Don't know why. Did, but I don't like it. Okay, we've got about five minutes or so left of the video, and then we're going to move on. Well, we're going to end the video there, and then I'm going to do a little bit off offline, uh, off off camera. Uh, well, on Twitch, but off YouTube. Uh, and yeah, we should be. Uh okay, so we just head round here. Looks like the harvest is going to have like maybe one more pass in them as well, which is good. We'll get him moving on to the next field pretty pronto. Okay, you should be about there. Okie dokie, there we go. Happy days. So, everything looks good this pass, which is good. As long as we stay roughly on this line, we should be good. Uh, the harvest has got one more pass in them, which means we'll have to take the man down the other end, which is not a problem, it doesn't take too long. The man's a pretty quick vehicle. Uh, the reason I went for the man as well is the fact that, obviously, I live in the UK, and they are very, very, very popular trucks. Uh, with it being European map as well, it kind of made sense to go with one of them rather than an American-style looking one. Because uh, you don't actually see that many, if, if any at all, of the American style looking ones. Um, I think uh, in in the, the UK, I've only ever seen maybe one or two. And that's in my life. So yeah, it's normally a flat fronted uh, truck. It's never normally uh, the nose ones like you get in America. Uh, the Optimus Primes Transformer, so to say. Uh, yeah, you never normally get them uh, in the UK. It's normally a flat-fronted one. So that is the reason why I went for one of them. It kind of made, like I say, it made sense to me uh, for the region, obviously, that I come from. Um, so, yeah, that's the reason why I went for a man rather than an American. I know the Americans do have generally higher horsepower and stuff, uh, so they actually are more beefy. Uh, can I just put you on? So you keep moving that into the back.
Wait, is that... Is that... Oh, yeah. I don't know why that keeps moving in. Um, I don't know whether it's I can control that. I don't think I can. I didn't think I could anyway, but the worker seems to be fucking controlling it. It seems to be uh, messing it up every time. So we'll just have to stop it there. Uh, send him to the next field, and then we'll send a man over, and he can offload him at the next field now. So yeah, we should be good to just crack on. It is, it's all corn anyway, so we should be good to just crack on straight away. No problems at all. Again, we need to do... We need, I'm thinking of buying maybe just a small field, uh, just to basically designate that to uh, grass. Here we go. Let's jump in the van and head over. I mean, we are halfway, for, just over halfway trailer-wise. So yeah, we definitely will get a full trailer out of this. Uh, probably a trailer and a half or something. Quite significant. Um, we're getting quite a significant amount out of this uh, this harvest. I'm just going to leave that there. It might have a... Tr the harvester might have an issue when you're trying to turn around with the silos there, but we'll see. Got an issue with going around them with the thing, so. Right, so let's just take the headland off for him. Apparently, he doesn't want to pick that one up. Okay. <laughs> we need to get, as well, a crane thing, um, which can go onto the back of the forward. Now that will make picking up them wall pallets a lot easier and loading them onto the trailer again a lot easier um, I think the only way to get um, silage from corn is if you use a chrome I think 8% full yeah I need that anyway so, let's take this guy up here. I don't really care about these, so let's just drop them there. Park him up there, and then you come off work for now. Let's just go and unload, because like pretty full. Can we just about get it? Yeah, we can. Good. Great. So we'll load there. So yeah, to pick up them pallets, we're going to get the uh, the crane thing to put onto the back of the Ford. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how much it is. Uh, I think it's in the region of about 15, I think. Um, whichever it is, then we, that's fine. We should be uh, we should be good to get it from basically selling all of this stuff uh, and then we can obviously the rest of it will then go towards our debt and paying off our, our loan which is what we want mainly okay okay let's go you carry on there let's go back to you let's crack up okay apparently you don't want to Good start. Thank you. Okay, that's better. That was weird. Don't know why I didn't want to do that then. That's kind of weird. Uh, very weird. Indeed, very weird. But yeah, we're going to crack on doing this ourselves because, like I say, the worker seems to be pretty dumb when it comes to this type of uh, this type of plow. Not gonna lie. I mean, don't get me wrong. This plow is not the nicest type of plow to use. Um, yeah, it's definitely not one of the nicest plows to use. Right. See, so, yeah, I don't know what the back end is doing. Um, the 
keep sort of being weird. But yeah, we'll do this. We might even just replace it straight away, this plow. Or we'll get like a smaller plow that's a little bit more user friendly. Because uh, this one seems to be pretty annoying, to say the least. Pretty damned annoying. But as long as we get the job done relatively quickly, it shouldn't be really that much of an issue. That's the good thing about this, it is quite, it is pretty wide. So we see, it's missing stuff in the middle. And like the plow is literally in the middle. Hey, look at that. It's literally missing stuff in the middle. How the hell is it even doing that? Can I move that? I don't want to create a field. Uh, lift plow. How do we move that? Try uh, let's try lift and plow. And then does that do anything? Nope. Nope. That doesn't seem to do anything. So strange. Okay, that's attached. Obviously, doesn't seem to do anything. But we seem to be missing part of the fucking field, which is kind of weird. Again, it's doing. Oh my god, this thing is getting sold. Because this is so shite. Okay, well, we're going to end the episode there anyway. So, we have gone on to 30 minutes now anyway. So, we are going to end the episode there. Hope everyone has a lovely day. And I will see everyone next time. Bye-bye for now.